art locations and I've got that one as well that I may get attacked with as well as my base may get attacked at some point. But the good thing is most of my people are here and most of my people actually are carrying weapons because I don't have... I don't have any weapons left over in here. This is great. That's one of the first times where everybody actually is holding something. I just, I'm a little bit stunned. It's one of those times where I'm just like, did that actually happen? And I had to, I had to look twice before I said something because I just thought I'd missed something. Okay, if I scrap these down, they're not excellent and I scrap them down, I'll get the resources back to go again. Um, okay. I want a couple of grand sculptures. Oh, shit. Cancel that. Ooh, I saw you. I want a couple of grand sculptures around the place because I've got room for it down the bottom of the map. I think it'll look pretty good down there. All right. Everything's... I'll have only excellent sculptures left. So let's find some homes for you guys. Get you out of here. Uh, that's one. I don't know where this heat is supposed to be. That one? Yeah, it is. Hold up. Uh, okay, up here somewhere. Yeah, all right. That'll work. Go there and you can reinstall here. How is Gubia doing? He's got major infection. His leg got cut off, but he's mostly fine otherwise. It's not too bad. Uh, yeah, trade. Sheep, all sorts of stuff. Yeah, I kind of can't wait until those couple of uh, animals are actually adults. Because I'm curious, like, between location, I should start having, like, a constant stream of, like, baby animals. Stop buying the special meals. We've got enough food for 20 days. We should be able to make this. If I don't dally, they'll make it back before winter. So no more of these. They're well, well and truly expensive. I do need components. They're not cheap. I don't want Ambrosia. I want steel. No more psychic sues, but I could grab another one of these. Okay. And this is going to cost me a bit of money, but that's fine. I'll take that. I'll take that hit and we'll move. Yeah, research. Wow, okay, we're really fucking moving along with this. Mm, yeah, that one. I would like to do transport pods eventually, but until I actually have enough free steel for that. Because what you do with transport pods is you make like a dozen or so of them, or at least this is how I use them, right? You make like a dozen or so, and each transport pod has one pod. And you can fill that with, I think it's 150 kilos of mass, regardless of whatever that is. That could be a person, that could be plant matter, that could be whatever resources you want, right? And you send that to an ally. So you can send prisoners that way, you can send your own people, whatever. Um... Like, you can have fun with it. But I tend to send things that either I don't want or that are particularly good for gifting. Um, and then that keeps my allies really, really high numbers. And I can call them in then whenever I've got a battle problem with this thing, right? And I have basically a win-win cycle going back. Um, so I can call in allies at a drop of a hat and get reinforcements, any amount, and then I can send them something in return for their trouble. Yeah, well, I figure a lot of people actually do use it to just send prisoners places. Like, I would imagine that uh, somebody with play style of, like, Grim, if he's got the transport pods, because I know he ends up with, like, the spaceship ones instead. Um, he tends to send, I, I think he sends prisoners or something as, like, a gesture of goodwill or at least I think that's what he's done in the past uh Yana is it she's just visiting our colony she hasn't got anything for us that slowly raises hand what do you want to get sent by a shipping thingy <laughs> oh I get it you do do the shipping thingy <laughs> 
It took me a minute. I get there eventually. Ow. Fucking hell, my neck. Oh, man. I thought, oh, I just stretched my neck a little bit. It's been so sore. And I stretched and I fucking crunched. I don't know if you guys even heard that, but shit, that hurt. Something you do all the time in the in room world. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't judge for it. Like, everybody plays the game differently. I... I generally send, like, whenever I end up with drugs and all sorts of stuff on my base, I send it back because it gives them, like, a really high goodwill. But at the same time, like, if I've got it in my base, people are just going to use it. If it's in the little pods, they can't use it. Uh, so even if they want to have a binge on something, they can't. Also, it looks like my chocolate's actually to a rate of harvest. If they get it out for winter, which, God forbid, they actually do, uh, we might actually have in-base chocolate for recreation. Which will be a first. I think this this one's already done. This one's nearly reseeded and I don't think, I think what we've got will be enough. I'm trying to stop them from replanting the outdoor areas because if they replant them all and it goes to winter or we get a cold snap or something, it's just waste. It's a massive waste of area. Whereas these indoor areas, which are grow rooms, can continue to grow even through the cold. So that's stopped. Um in here that crunch uh decided to absolutely what is it decided to absolutely frick your ears how um I, I i definitely change some of the settings for my stream so that i don't pick up on i don't think my chair picks up as much anymore oh it was on max volume sorry i i did kind of like yell <laughs> um yeah, no, I, I found that my chair creaking when I move and stuff because it creaks every time I move. Um, I managed to change the setting that picks up on that as much, so which is nice because I fucking hate hearing my chair go off. There's nothing I could do about it. I've tried putting uh, WD-40 and stuff up in it and it just doesn't fix it, doesn't do anything for it. All right, well, they're getting a pretty great crop of Devil Strand. Once they actually get this double areaed, like they're not cutting trees or anything because I've got so many growable spaces at the moment still being summer. As soon as these all stop being a grow area, a lot of them are turned off at the moment, this little thing here. Prevent them from re-kind of sowing the area. But once they've actually harvested everything completely off here, they'll only have the little grow rooms and they'll probably do some trees maybe i can't promise they're gonna do trees like they're fucking slack like they still haven't done the trees necessary to do this and i don't even have beds getting made in this place like when i was constantly making beds and it was using the wood totally made sense that i just didn't have wood available for it but i'm not doing that and they're not cutting stuff down to like do this sort of stuff i should actually send somebody out here regardless chimpanzee what is your I need somebody that's a nighttime person. Not gonna get pissy. You. Falling potatoes. Can you come over here? You can't do plant cutting. Okay, so I need somebody that's night owl and can do plant cutting. Uh, you're not a night owl. Looking for somebody that's not. You're a night owl. You only have two on plants. You are a night owl. You're a seven on plants. You can cut a fucking tree. Come here, mate. Come here. I'm going to get you to just... I'm, I'm going to just stay with you for a couple minutes. You and me, Nick, we're going to get these trees cut. At least a couple. So maybe somebody refuels that. Because if I had all of my kitchen burners going at the moment, I definitely wouldn't be having any issues with, like, the food production going. I do actually need male ducks. But I don't want to get that on the road. So I worked out that I don't have any male ducks or chickens. So my egg production is going strong, but my replacement situation is kind of weak. 19 days of food. Yep, they're fucking breeding like flies. I'll do something about that in a sec. Let's see. Components. Steel. I mostly want the steel more than anything. Cool. They don't really have anything else that piques my interest. We've got... Enough food. I don't really want to take meat, but I'll take your corn. That'll be good. It'll cost me a pretty penny, but 
Let's see. I don't want to get rid of like all males and stuff like that because I still need them for breeding. But anything that's born on the trip can definitely look at going. Most of these are... Most of them are female. One's pregnant. Let's see. We've got three yaks. I can go. I guess they, they won't like get that reproduction quota that I was hoping for. But at least I won't have to really pay much here. Yeah, a little bit. I can maybe sell off not a dromedary. Maybe you? Almost. I'll pay three fucking bucks to move on. I don't have a great deal of money, so I don't know how far I'll go. I'll maybe get to do the cycle if I'm lucky. They definitely didn't have as much money as possible. And because I'm spending us some money on food, it's a bit of an issue. But I can definitely keep selling off animals because like, my list is very long. Very, very long. I'll probably get rid of some of the oldest animals next. I got rid of the couple that were just born. I probably could have kept them, but I'll get rid of some of the really, really old ones. Stops you getting the chance of like animals having dementia and stuff. What I'd like to see is some of this food actually come up here. Like, it's almost I would say a strong one quarter. If you if you took everything that was in here and you shoved it just down to one corner, I think it would be max almost capacity. Still got a lot of eggs and shit. All right. Wait, where did... Well, it's morning now. I can't use Nick again for that. Are you a night owl? You are. I need somebody that's a daytimer that does... You're a daytimer that does plants. You are harvesting stuff, but mate, come here. I, I lost a chance with Nick because it's kind of morning. But uh, we got a couple of plants over here. I'm sure you'll do this quick and efficiently because your bio says that you're like really great with plants. I'm kind of hoping that they actually put it in the stove and don't put it in the uh, fence. Because you know what these people are like, right? Jet's coming over to get some. Maybe? Yes? Oh, come on. <laughs> All right. What have I got? So let's see. 15. Horses all get a moving quickly. You're pregnant. You're 12. You could go. 30 but you're a male so you need to actually stay. I probably should have kept a young one. Although I've got five fucking males. Hold up. Two of them can go. That one's pregnant. That one's uh I don't know. I'm not looking at their fucking age right. I'm looking at the number. Don't mind me. I'm just having a moment. Mm, five. Yeah okay so there must be a couple that are like 12 years old and stuff. Got a lot that are this age. I'll just say straight up about 10 out of that section. I'll see what I can get with steel. I've got quite a lot of components. I think I've got a lot of components back home. Although those type of components and this kind of medicine need to come with me. Okay. So that's still about 600. Honestly, at some point I will sell these. They're like 30 bucks. Advanced components. That's going to take me back. Yep. All right. That's fine. The more animals I remove, the more food I'm actually going to have as well. I don't really want this to go lower than 5,000, but I will have to at some point. Let's get up here. Mm. I've got an idea as well. And just send one straight out here. That's an interesting route. That's six days. I know I've got some pack animals behind. And I might as well, since I've got so much food, might as well just take it to buff it up and see if I can't sell some more shit off them. I'll run out of money before I run out of space with the group that's out there, but if I can load up another group a little bit more. See, Labia can go. She's a good linguistic person. Where are you? There you are. What else do you do? You do animals as well. Not ideal, but it's fine. I don't want to send out QBOs injured. Let's send out somebody that doesn't have 
So you're doing plants, you need to stay. Although honestly, if I get somebody that's like a halfway on a plants, actually fuck it, I'm gonna send you out. You two. What else we got? If I stop somewhere and I've got a chance for plants, it would actually be really, really useful. I think that was you. Because then they'll just harvest. If I can harvest wood at any one location, I immediately get resources. Let's take all of that. If you could take it, carry it. Rainbow horn, for sure. Somebody's going to want to buy that. I got plenty of clothes. Let's take a little bit to load up. I might even, like, I don't really want to like take all the food to sell and shit like that, but if I've got to, I should actually keep some of these fucking talks because winter's coming, but fine. Got a lot of silver. Okay. Probably actually take 1,500 of that because the other animals will eat it. 1,000 neat of that will be fine. If we've got the food, fucking take it. 1,000. That's 80 days of food. Once they meet up with the others, whatever kind of rice and shit they've got, kind of just spare. I don't want to take that much medicine. And I don't think you guys get to take the bedroll. Even though I literally could sell it. But if we had the time, I would take out like a good quantity of like potatoes or something like that. Whatever would sell. Dairy sell a little bit better. Milk sells even better than that. Um, fucking hell, eggs sell for a bit. Not everywhere it buys them though. I know that. Let's see what we can load up with the berries. I don't want all the berries because I know people pick them up. Come on, let me select fucking one. Fine. All right, I'll do it manually. Okay, so basically pretty way down, but if they catch up, if they get over here and my group's like still moving around here, I'll have extra coins and stuff like that to merge with them. Plus, I'm still sending the least amount of fucking people out of my base for caravans, which is pretty great. I sort of really want to say remove all this stuff for a bit and just say no, don't put stuff in here. Especially if I'm going to take basically all of the animals out. Um... I might actually do that. Hold on. Let's say, can I just say don't use a zone for a moment? I probably can't. So let's get rid of it so you guys stop putting stuff in there. I'll have a problem with that later. I'll have to remember to actually put that back. But what I'm hoping that they're going to do is come and put a heap of it in here. So then my cooks actually have food nearby. It's actually properly, like, temperature controlled. I get temperatures like minus, what is it? Minus 120 fucking something. They don't really get a good spot with this place because the doors are constantly opening. Such a huge colony. May consider doing some nutrition maths so we won't have half of every map in the farmland. Now, see, at the moment, the only reason why I've got, like, so much farmland going is because I've expanded so strongly so fucking quickly. Um, if I had kind of taken this a bit slower, a bit more controlled, like uh, my previous uh, colony of Nido was, right, what I had is I had a lot more solar areas. So all year round I had crops going, right? These little crops that I've got at the moment, the only reason why I put them down is because I've got over 100 people. So when it comes to growing season, I need that kind of food. Plus, I keep selling off food. So I'm kind of like making it difficult for myself. But um, the ingredients and shit like that, I also have like a fuck ton of animals. That's not helping me. So because I've got like basically nearly 400 animals and like 120 people odd, right? Um, the amount of food that they require is not covered by the small little grow areas that I've got. Um, especially since basically each year I'd kind of be either out of this place or initially, first couple of years, I kind of lost growing during winter. I normally 
wouldn't make grow areas straight away but I would make them by about the second or third winter when it's necessary. But I, by the second or third winter, I think I had like 50 or 70 people or some shit. So it was a lot, a lot really fast. Um, plus generally on my last big base, I had the 170 odd. I actually had less growing area, but it was more efficient, um, more efficiently used because I had grow rooms throughout the season all year. I won't pick up another Psychic Shock Lance. I'm tempted, but I don't want to waste the money. I've already got, like, three. They'll do for now. They'll let me get potentially up to six people or prevent a disaster. Medicine. Yes. All right. So I've still got plenty of food. I still haven't sold off any particular animals. A lot of these are pregnant. You guys are the ones I can ride, so I don't want to get rid of you. You know, I could probably go. It's kind of crunching the numbers a little bit, but that's fine. We can move on with that. New lovers, Josh and Ray Wolfen. Nice. Complimented our intelligence. Yeah, usually in any given map that I've ever had, I've only ever had this kind of space out here once, one other time. And it's not something, like, I'm not going to have these areas available to grow on during winter or anything like that. Um, which, by the way, what is that? Rain. That's no, fine. Normally I would have probably four to six grow rooms about this size or bigger. Once I get up to about 170 odd or 150 odd, I would have eight. And that's usually sufficient. However, because I've got 120 odd and I don't have that many grow rooms, I'm constantly fighting it. Plus, like a lot of the people, I don't I don't really care if they do binge eating and stuff like that, but that happens every so often. So I don't think anybody going on this caravan's got a problem. Okay, wait, who was that? Sasha, wasn't it? You're picking out. Awful bedroom. So, Williams, where is your bedroom? I could just, like, follow him, but he won't go back to sleep for a while. Well, that one's unowned. That could be somebody that's out at the moment, too. And you're having a food binge because you're a gamard. You're basically also having a few gamards in the base is not helping. There's William's bed. So he reckons his bedroom's fucking trash. What kind of bed you got? You got an excellent bed. You're next to a good bedroll. I have it. There's a masterwork. Hold up. Let's reinstall this over here. Ender. Ender. How do you, can you chimpanzee? No, you're hurt. What about you? Not you. Gooby is finally out of hospital. That's great. It would be good if I had a few more people that could do construction. I know that it's kind of like their time to like chill out at the moment. Somebody will do it. I just want to swap over William's thing and see if that stops him from having a fucking tantrum nonstop. Uh, Orange is having a tantrum because she's in serious pain. You can't do it. Yeah, ease on it. Nice. Get that installed over there. You might be able to do this while you're at it. Oh, Vincent's coming down for it. Oh, stretch. Thank you. Oh. Oh, man. That definitely helped my shoulder. That crack earlier and the stretch then. Oh, uh, I, um, when I stretched back, I braced myself because um, the chair sometimes clicks out of place and I go flying back. So I kind of felt that it might have been loose. So I put my knee up to underside the desk, uh, which made the desk crunch. So, yeah, I'm good. It's just a desk is creaky. And I also didn't want to go flying backwards. All right. I've got 17 advanced components. Um, grab some medicine. Grab some steel. 
I need like advanced components for a lot of the like latest stuff, but it's fine for now. All right. I'm going to go with the old less is more and just take that. Move to the next place. God, these are so close together too. It's nice that I'm kind of like saying hello to some of these people too because I haven't got a chance to. Although, what's another yellow? I'm going to see another purple in a sec. So that's not a problem. And I'm seeing a green. So, yeah, again, not a problem. Uh, how the steel acquisition going? So, I have got a couple of scanners. Hold on. Uh, has informed us of a collection of valuables. Shooting and psychic soup pulsar. Where? If I'm lucky, I can maybe swing past that. Um, yeah, so I've got 37%. 34 and 30 uh sorry 28 because i keep losing power i keep getting solar flares um what's the other one eclipses and shit like that so i'm not getting sufficient power over here and like i was saying before if i move this grow room over here anywhere over here like even there it would do better because this area has more power than that side which honestly i'm starting to to weigh up just doing that. Fuck this section. Even though it's going to like be a bit of a problem coming into uh, winter and stuff. And I know it's going to bud that right up against there. There's nothing much I could do about that. Uh, I would say probably just take it straight down. If I could encapsulate most of that area, it would be great. But I don't want to cut off this section. Um, Actually, hold up. Yeah, cancel it. I'll take it out from it. It's not... It's going to fuck with the fucking symmetrical shit of this place, but whatever. Yeah, take it down. Take it up. I say keep going. Yeah. Well, that will help, except for in summer. In summer, I'm more likely to actually have to open that. Which um, I've done a couple of times before... When you get like seasonal winters and shit like that, and you just end up like animals get in and eat your shit. Alright, I did that terribly. Get rid of that. Yeah, I'll do it on the top side. So, this was not really in my plans to get this space set up like this, but when it push comes to shove, I need an operational growing room more and I also need the operating kitchen more if it ends up holding with the electricity um I'll probably end up yeah I'll probably end up fucking pushing to get that done Let's see I need bridges out here I don't think I've got the wood for this but if I was to take apart the other place right now I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they wouldn't fucking put it over there let's grab these and these uninstall them these grow rooms let's turn all that off please and I would say let's remove the roof um I have a lot of stone yeah but at the same time, like, I don't want to build a lot of this place in stone because I know when I go to move, they will take fucking forever to deconstruct. Like, they take a long time to deconstruct anything. But if it's stone, they take extra long. Like, they look at it and it's like they don't want to. Like, they just seriously don't want to. See, I'm pretty sure that that size-wise is smaller than this area. So I'm pretty sure if they take all the wood out of there, it should be enough. And this is almost, almost wide enough. I'm going to need still columns and shit like that. All right, look, make it out of limestone. Limestone's cheap and quick to make. Probably there. Yeah, bring it all the way down here. Oh, come on. I was doing a thing. I don't need more food. Every time I sell an animal off, it gets me more. 
All right. Pretty good if that's all they've got. I don't need I don't need components. I would have taken advanced components. Alright. Yeah, this lets cannibals as well, actually. Okay. Grab that, move on. That was quick. Right, let's get back here. I'm doing a thing. I, when they get really close to multiple places like that, it can be very, very hard to get something built while they're still in transit because sometimes they'll just go place to place non-stop. That should be enough. It's not quite touching the wall, but I think this will buff it. All right. At least they're taking down the roof for once. 